Hey everyone, welcome today. We're going to be talking uh, live again. Once again, we're going to be talking about TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring Systems. But first, how are you? How's it going on? I, I really miss talking to my peeps on a daily basis. And uh, do me a favor, tell me how you're doing and tell me where you're from. I'd love to see it on the comment section. Meanwhile, Tower Pressure Monitoring System. Okay, this for some reason, we get a lot of questions on this, so let me just kind of break it down for you. If you're driving down the road and your light comes on, you're trying to figure out, hey, what's going on here? Why is this light blinking? Here's basically what happens. Or is it blinking or did it come on solid? Those two have a very, very different meaning. So let's just kind of break it down. First, the system works off of, they either have four or five little modules inside the tires. And basically it broadcasts a signal. It transmits a signal and the car picks it up. And those signals are attached to these little units that have pressurized, um, they have like little pressure sensors on them. And what the car is figuring out is what the difference between the tires are. Is it three pounds difference, four pounds difference, whatever. Or some cars are set up for the exact specific tire pressure. Okay. I know, I know it seems kind of boring and technical, but I just want to explain it. So when you're driving down the road, if you've overinflated a tire, so let's say it's supposed to be 30 and you just went crazy and put 40 pounds in it, that may trigger it. Or if you're low on tire pressure, it may trigger it. And what it's going to trigger is a solid light. You'll just be driving down the road and a solid light will come on. No problem. How can I identify which, which one of my tires actually has these? Uh, you know, They all have them. If your car is equipped, it all has them. But there is a variable. You're, if you have a full-size spare and you look at the valve stem and it has a metal valve stem, then that valve stem as well is also got a TPMS sensor. So if it, even though it's in the trunk, if it goes down below pressure or if it's overinflated at service or whatever, it can also trigger the light. So we have that. Okay, now, when do these things go bad and why would that uh, turn it on? Well, we know that obviously if we have low pressure or high pressure, we just explained to you, will trigger a solid light on. But what in the strange instance that we have a flashing light, what causes the flashing light? That one's a little harder to, to uh, figure out because you're going to have to get it scanned. And who can scan it? Anybody can scan it from the Walmarts to wherever. If you've got somebody that does tires, they'll tell you which one it is. And what that means is either A, you've lost the tire pressure. I'm sorry, you've either the, the sensor battery has went dead, number one, or number two, when they change the tire, this can happen. Uh, they broke a sensor. Actually, in my personal car, I rode over a, um, a piece of old rubber in the highway. I hit it pretty hard. And anyway, it broke the tire sensor. If something hits it from the road and hits that valve stem and hits it just right, it can bust the sensor. So in that case, the only way to really fix that problem is going to be replace the sensor. Okay, no problem. So what? let's talk about that for a second. How hard is it to replace batteries? When should I replace batteries? Okay, batteries I've seen last a really long time. Like I've seen them past 10 years. So it's hard to put a call on them, but you'll know when they start going bad. And if you have to replace one, you need to replace all four. And it's better just to put brand new sensors in it. Now, I'll put a link down below for some general universal sensors that should work on about anything. So if you do have this problem, you should be able to fix it. Now, programming can be another issue. So this is why you want to be able to make sure that you go with, you can't just go buy sensors, stick it on your tire and put your, fill your tire up. It's going to have to be programmed back into the car system. Like, uh, because it's like a little module, if you can think of it, kind of think of your own home Wi-Fi system and some stranger tries to log on. Well, you're, you're, it's going to kick you out. And the same thing happens with the, uh, with the transmitters on the TPMS. So how to reset your system? Well, if you only have a low pressure or an over pressure situation, all you need to do to reset most vehicles is just level out the pressure. So if your vehicle costs for 30 pounds, then put 30 pounds. If the rear 32, call 32, whatever the spare is, put it in it. It should, within one duty cycle, switch, kick back on, and your system should reset. 
if you have a flashing light, the only way you're going to be able to reset that system at that point is to actually have it professionally scanned, figure out what sensor is giving you the problem or what the breakdown in communication is, replace that sensor and have that sensor synced back to the module. If you don't do that, then you're going to have a constant flashing light. So the reason that uh, I had to have this conversation was, is I just got called everything but anything nice and uh, pretty got cussed out over a video we did. And I just wanted to clarify, you know, whether you like the answers or you don't like the answers, it doesn't change the fact. You've only got two things. You've either got a constant light that stays on from low pressure or overinflation, or you have a breaking signal, which is flashing. So you got to identify that, then go get it checked out. That's all you can do. Now, there is a lot of benefits to this, and it is a safety issue. A lot of people ignore it, but, you know, low tire pressure can cause a rollover situation, which is what, why they got put on there in the first place because of the Ford Exploders. Y'all remember that. But anyway, not to bore you to death or uh, get too technical or anything, but if you do have a tire pressure light on, identify whether it's flashing or solid. Go through, check all your pressure on all four, or in some cases, five if the spare has a sensor in it. And um, if you have a flash, you can go get it checked out, figure out which one it is, go ahead and change them out. All right, what's up, man? We got Auto Buff on here. Joe's giving me a thumb up. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so we just, you know how people are. We just have to get, we have to get real specific on how to fix certain things. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that helps you guys out and we will see you on the next one tomorrow. I'm going to be uh I'm going to follow up on the head gasket situation uh cuz I'm getting ate up on that one from yesterday, so I'm going to try to clarify that a little deeper and give you some solutions for it. Um yes, haters are going to hate. And you know what? Here's the funny thing about haters going to hate. You can say that a video is completely useless that gives you the exact correct information. If there's only two viable options that can be going on with your, I guess three, your, your TPMS module itself could be bad, your sensors could be bad, or everything could be working and your inflation level could be bad. That's really all you got on a TPMS, period, end of story. I hate that you don't like those answers or maybe it doesn't work for you or whatever, but that's all I got for you. And if I have a car that has this issue, then I'm just telling you exactly what I would do. No problem. Meanwhile, what else is going on out there? That's about it, I guess. I'm working on a convertible top that is leaking like you don't even want to know. So I'm resealing the top. Probably going to shoot a quick vid on that real quick. Give you some quick tips for the convertible glass that falls out of the back. Meanwhile, uh, coming up the barrel for edited videos, we have a um, we have a car that had several different crowns melted into it. So we're going to show you how to take those out. You're going to love it. Meanwhile, nothing but love from the RVA. We will see you guys on the flip side of the moon. See ya. I'm going to try to turn this off, guys. Hold on. I'm not sure. I'm working. Okay. It says, do you sure you want to stop streaming? See why I shouldn't be doing streaming, guys? This just doesn't work for me. Meanwhile, we'll see you tomorrow, man.